Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've just done a get ready with me, just doing my everyday makeup routine, very basic makeup routine, um, while answering your questions. I did like a little question box on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, this is it. Um, just saying like any questions, anything you want to know. I've got lots of new faces here, so I thought we'd catch up. So hopefully I answered some questions that you would be interested in. And yeah, hope you enjoy. For the questions, I've actually not even looked through them yet, but I just put a thing on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on there, go follow me. Um, to put on my Instagram story, kind of any questions you have, like lots of new faces here. So anything you may want to know, just ask. So I'm just gonna literally just scroll through and whatever tickles my fancy. <laughs> answer i'm just using my kind of everyday products i'm not going to go through everything that i'm using um i will link everything in the description actually for what i'm using on my face but i have my like makeup routines posted one like two weeks ago so if you do want to know everything that i'm doing on my face then that is the video to watch okay so the first question that i've got is have you ever thought about making a podcast and yes i have not that i'm making one yet or even like soon but I'm sure if you've watched my YouTube videos enough, you'll know I just talk and I talk and I talk and I talk and that is honestly one of my favourite things to do. I just love talking. I love talking to people. I honestly just love talking to myself. Just a complete side note, apparently only 40% or is it 60%, one of the two, of people have internal dialogue, like, um, like speak to themselves in their head. I honestly don't believe that whenever i'm sat in silence or if i'm sat by myself i'm there's running commentary in my head i'm either talking about something completely random like yesterday i was sat taking my makeup off here and i was talk i was thinking to myself about how funny it would be if your name was joe king like that's just what goes on in my head i think that'd be so cool if your name was joe king like that's so funny but that's the kind of thing that goes on in my head and I'll always talk about things. I'll think, oh, like, I like that, I want to do that. And I'm just always talking. So the idea of doing a podcast to me kind of makes sense in the future. I definitely not like now, but in the future, 100%, I'd absolutely love to. Before I put my foundation, I just want to say yes. This is too dark for my skin. It is my fake tan shade and I took my fake tan off this morning because I'm fake tanning tonight. And I only wear makeup really when I'm fake tanned, so I don't want to see any comments saying your foundation doesn't match you because I'm completely aware of that. I feel like in every time that I do a Q&A, everyone always says one of three questions. How old am I? Do I have a boyfriend? And how old is my boyfriend? So I'll answer all those three. Number one, I'm 20 years old. My birthday is the 31st of July 2003. And yes, I have a boyfriend. He's called Sam. We have been together for just over four and a half years and yeah that's about it and he is 21 it's actually his birthday beginning of november so he's turning 22 so he's like the year above i still always think of like things in year above so like as if i'm still at school but he was the year above me i'm just the youngest in my year and he's like one of the older ones in his year the next question is one of the questions i literally get asked all the time and that's like about the clean girl aesthetic like everything about that and someone's literally said you act and look so clean all the time but do you have a messy side too i wish you could see the pile of clothes next to me on the floor because that would answer your question i never like intended to do all this like clean girl aesthetic i just loved the way it looked and then i decided to start doing slick buns because i thought that looked really cute and then suddenly i'm like now obsessed with like the clean girl aesthetic and people always like ask me how to get the clean girl aesthetic and to be honest that's like the biggest compliment to me because I literally started doing it because I thought it looked nice on other people so the fact that I get so many questions being like how to get the clean girl aesthetic is like oh I must be doing something right but yes I am actually quite messy with clothes like I'm quite clean like I like things not to be like dirty but a little bit of mess here and there that's just like natural but Sam is very very like tidy he hates things being out and we live together at the minute I'll explain all of that in a sec but he hates being things like being out if something's on the counter for like three seconds it's like 
I'm getting like dirty looks like why is that not being put away but that's just not me I used to be so dirty my mum used to take videos of my clothes like take videos what is that on my face not dirty I used to be so messy um my mum used to go into my bedroom when I was younger and take videos of like my floor because of how disgusting it was and it honestly was like when I was younger I was so messy the next question is like do you ever suffer with self-confidence and how do you overcome it and I actually love questions like this because I feel like when people are quite confident online it can come across like they've never struggled oh my gosh that was a lot um with confidence and me personally I have always been pretty much always been a very confident person however I would say about this time last year I actually really wasn't confident I don't know why nothing happened I think it was kind of honestly like it's so common but like looking at girls online and they had a nicer body than me they had bigger lips they had a nicer nose they had all this stuff I was getting really caught up in the social media thing and that wasn't even when I'd started social media it was before and I'm glad I got that out of the way before I started doing social media because now I'm really confident in myself and I think it's just you've got to think what is one what is me being not confident going to bring me absolutely nothing apart from like being sad so when you kind of think about it like that it makes it easier I think also fake it till you make it if you pretend you're confident you end up actually being confident because it's all just like in your head obviously like so I don't know if that was a really really rubbish explanation but yes I have struggled with self-confidence but once you get over it and just realize that at the end of the day you're one person out of like eight billion people on the planet if someone is that like obsessed with you or anything that they're going to try and bring you down if that's what your confidence is about then that says more about them if they want to spend their time trying to bring you down or trying to make you feel not confident or anything then I feel sorry for them okay so to answer the like where am I living who am I living with questions so I live at home currently with my parents so I was living down in Brighton area with Sam last year if you watched my videos or anything you'll know of that flat and we lived there because Sam played football down in Brighton and he's since left that club and we moved back up here in summer and we've been living at my parents house so Sam lives with me at my parents house and yeah we were going to move back down to Brighton area but Sam's actually picked up a season long injury which is so sad so he needs to get surgery and everything so we're just gonna be staying at here staying at my house for probably the next year um until something happens until he's all because I think it's just kind of like I will go wherever he needs to be in terms of living so it's just waiting until he's then got the club to go and move to if that makes sense I actually love this question it is what are things you're interested in that people wouldn't expect and I mean I feel like if you do watch me on here you know about my harry potter obsession i have loved harry potter since i was i don't even know when i started reading the books i was always a i had to read the book like my parents or well, my mum made me read the books of films before i watched the film um so i read the books first and then i watched the films but i used to listen to the audiobook of harry potter every night before i went to sleep i used to know like, the first chapters off by heart because that was all I listened to. So I love Harry Potter so much, like literally so much. It's my comfort movie. If I'm feeling sad, if I'm ill, if anything, if it's raining, I'm putting Harry Potter on. I love it. I feel like if you know that Sam is a football player, you would know that I really enjoy watching football. I support Liverpool, football team, they're the best. Um, got like a hair in my mouth. Yeah, really like football. I don't really watch like, the games that let's say it's like a rubbish team like two rubbish teams I'm not interested in I won't watch that but if it's like a good game I'll watch it actually another thing that I really like are musicals like West End kind of productions Hamilton is just the best the soundtrack for that if I'm doing something that's going to take like two hours or something the soundtrack of Hamilton is going on I love it I danced literally for my whole life I started dancing when I think when I was three and I stopped when I was 16. So I've always kind of been around that. What was the word? The 
thing. Next question is, what's your favourite thing about being an influencer? And I don't ever really call myself an influencer because I think I had this idea that influencers were like, I don't know, just different and like not proper people because it's only literally happened in the last year. Like the beginning of this year was kind of when I started doing social media properly. So because it's happened so quickly, I feel like everything is just snowballed and I've not really sat back and like looked at everything if that makes sense but i used to always have this idea that yeah influences were this like i don't know like just like not like the same way you kind of view a celebrity like they're just like a different kind of person which is completely false but i'd say my favorite thing is probably like talking to people like i love when people message me like oh where's this from even though it's literally saying like, oh where's your top from where's your hoodie from or people will message me saying, oh, like, I watched on YouTube, I love it. It literally makes my day. I'm not even being serious. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I love messages like that. I love talking to you guys. If you ever message me, like, I will honestly do my best to reply. I, every, like, couple of days, I will go through my DMs and try to reply to everyone that I can find. Also, weirdly, my DMs kind of, like, spawn out of nowhere. Um, like I'll, I'll look at my dms and then like the next day i look back and there's like loads i didn't see there so if you have dm me about something that you want to reply from and i've not answered please just message again and i will reply the thing that i wanted to get onto was the question that someone said just want to tell you that i a big thank you for being real and i hope you stay that way when you hit a million too so i am like a huge believer of the fact like anything to do with success whether it's you've got a promotion you've got more money you've got more followers should never change who you are away from that I hate like people who think they're better than someone else because they have more followers that actually that makes my stomach turn who thinks they're better than someone because they've got more money or anything like that that is just completely not me and I hope that that's something that you can see I think so, like so people have said to me before like oh do you not think it will like go to your head? And I think as soon as I do this and turn my phone off, everything disappears. It's not that I walk around with a big thing on top of my head saying, oh my God, I've got a million followers on TikTok. No, like I am, I hope that everyone around me would say the same. I'm the exact same person that I was and I, there's no reason for me not to be um, before I started doing social media. So. I will never change. I will always be completely real with you. But no, I will always be very myself. And that's another thing, actually. Someone said, what are your pet peeves? And this was like screaming at me yesterday because I was walking to Sainsbury's and when I had to walk to Sainsbury's, you go through this really tight tunnel and there was this woman with her like two children. Well, she had two children with her and a dog. And so I thought, right, I'm gonna wait and wait for her to like come down the tunnel. It was probably waiting like 30 seconds to a minute. Not, it wasn't delaying my day, but I thought instead of squeezing past you and trying to like, whatever, I'm gonna wait for you. She took her time coming down, which is absolutely fine. And then just looked at me. Well, I was with Sam, just looked at us and just walked off. I thought, could you not have said thank you? Like it was so obvious that we were waiting, like waiting, not that like, I was trying to make it obvious that I was waiting, but if someone's waited for you or done something for you, you say thank you. I just can't stand people with no manners. I'm sorry, I just can't. I think manners cost nothing. And I know I saw a TikTok being like, yeah, but being rude doesn't cost anything either. Like, no, no, no. I think if you have no manners, I honestly like won't be friends with you or I won't associate myself with you. I hate that. Like being rude to people who are doing something for you. Like, I just would never want to make someone's day worse. But at a restaurant, if someone gives me the wrong food, I'm not sending it back. If I would eat it, like obviously if it was something like, if it's bacon, I don't eat bacon because it makes me sick. If someone, if like bacon came out of my plate, I'd say, oh, sorry, please don't take the bacon. Actually, to be honest, I'd probably just take the bacon out and just leave it and just um, eat the rest of the milk. But I would never send anything back. I just don't want to be difficult. I'd hate for someone to think, she's so rude or she's being difficult or anything but for me manners is just such a big one again this is one of my most literally asked questions in my dms sorry i'm trying to concentrate on my eyebrows but it's like what 
made you start social media? How did you start social media? What should I like, what advice would you give someone who wants to start social media? And I know this is the most annoying thing because if someone said this to me, I'd be like, oh, like, I know. Just honestly, just do it. Nothing's gonna happen if you don't do it. And like, you know, when people say like, oh, what's the worst that can happen? Like, it goes wrong, okay? Like, you're not gonna go to jail. Like, nothing's gonna happen. You're just not, it's just not gonna go to plan, you know? So, like with me, I was so nervous to start doing this. I started my YouTube channel. I made my YouTube channel on the 18th of October. So literally basically a year ago. And I posted my first video. I don't actually know when. I posted my first video ages later because I was so scared to post. Because I was just like, what if no one likes it? What if no one looks at it? What if no one views it? What if it's so embarrassing and no one watches it? Or people like to make fun of me. So I posted my first video eight months ago. Just say the exact day. I posted my first video on the 2nd of February and I made the account in October. So I waited quite a while to post and I was just so nervous because I don't even know why I was nervous because let's be real, what's the worst someone's gonna say? Oh, that's so embarrassing, like, all right. And honestly, literally, I honestly think nobody cares because I had this idea that people would be really mean and like, I guess people might have been mean. I don't care, they might still be mean, but I don't know that they're being mean. Because they're being mean if they are, it's behind my back. So like, it's not affecting me, you know? Actually, another piece of advice that I saw on TikTok, I don't know what the girl's name was that posted it. I wish I could say who she was because it's literally the best bit of advice. And it's make content that you would like follow. So if you came across yourself on your For You page or on your Explore page or on Instagram, or whatever, would you follow yourself? And if you wouldn't, then do something about it, change it, change like what you create, change, I don't know, whatever you think that you would want to view if you were like somebody else. So I think that was such a big thing for me. Actually, when I saw that TikTok, I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna look at my accounts, pretend it's not me and think, would I follow you? And to be honest, I was like, no, like bluntly. I thought, no, I, I didn't like my feed really. It wasn't really like, didn't do anything for me, you know? And I thought, no, I actually wouldn't follow myself. So I changed it. And now when I look at my feed, I love looking at my Instagram feed because I'm like, oh, it looks so cute. That's so sad. Like, how sad is that? I've just said that, but it's honest. But even if it's stuff like if your favourite, let's say it's like Molly Mae. You love Molly Mae. I mean, who doesn't? Um, and you think, oh, she posts stuff like this. She makes videos like this. She does this. You think, okay, well, I'll just do that. It's not copying. There's nothing wrong with like copying people on social media. If you feel like you should give credit, then if you've like, properly copied then yeah give credit but it's like jumping on a trend or if someone does like specific types of videos that you want to create like go for it like that's literally what social media is about lots of people actually asked what jobs did I have before I did social media slash is like social media my only job and so now it's my only job it's my only form of income and so I worked at I don't know if you guys know what Tully's farm is I'm actually going there tonight um to do pumpkin picking so cute but Tully's Farm do this Shocktober festival. It's like the biggest one in Europe, I wanna say, or United Kingdom, whatever. And basically you walk around and you just get scared up by like, scared up, shouted out, screamed up by actors. And I was an actor. I hated it, I'm not gonna lie. It was literally the worst thing ever. But I got to scare some slabs. I scared um, Tommy and Molly. So yeah, when I worked there, I worked in this like prison cage thing and I was like a prisoner. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can get any pictures from when I worked there. So this was like the Halloween makeup that I did when I worked there. Very gruesome. That was me as a prisoner and like a guard at some point. That was me as like a guard with my blood all over my face. Um, but yeah, I really didn't like working there. I'm not gonna lie. It was freezing cold, like absolutely freezing cold, wet, damp and yeah, I hated it. The pay was really good though, so. <laughs> and then I actually worked there as an elf um, for Christmas. I was in Santa's grotto, pretending to be an elf. And then I worked at Waitrose. I was on the tills and I did like the deli bit at Waitrose. Um, didn't mind the tills because I got to talk to people. Deli, terrified. Because people come up and say, oh, please don't have 200 grams of this cheese. And you have to like blind cut 200 grams. Stressful. Okay, so these are kind of more chattier questions but someone said what's your next travel destination so i'm going up to scotland um beginning of november for sam's birthday actually we're going up to glen eagles 
which is the hotel that I go to like every summer. Um, it's so lovely. It's like a golf hotel and Sam really likes golf. So we're going to go up there and he'll get like a round of golf thing and then we can go out for dinner and things, which I'm really excited for. So that's that. And then I think my next holiday will be skiing. So that will be February, I think I'm going skiing. I think either February or Easter half term um I'll be going skiing we go with basically the same family every year and I used to hate skiing actually fun fact hated it I've had some really bad accidents skiing I almost skied off the edge of like the mountain and honestly like hand and heart almost died um I was probably about six maybe older I don't know but I sat down on the bottom like, like on the back of my skis and if you haven't been skiing before or done this when you sit on the back of your skis you end up like going really fast because all your weight's back and you go Phew. and then I didn't have it was at the end of the day of skiing and I just didn't have the power in my legs to get myself back up and I was just like bombing towards the edge of the cliff basically and my dad says he always says like he literally saw my life flash before his eyes but it's fine I'm still here um I actually don't remember it at all I just remember being told about it and then I've had I got like picked up by like the t-bar if you've never been skiing again it's like a it's like a lift that looks like this and you sit either side so like one person sits there the other person sits there or you can just like, go by yourself and I went by myself and I was going up all fine and then you have to kind of pick it out under you and swing it round so it just like leaves you and when I did that it came back and hooked under my ski jacket and lifted me into the air and my skis snapped off again I actually don't remember that a bit not really, maybe I've like blocked it out of my mind, but I got lifted up, my skis like snapped off, it was rough. And then like some other horror stories, sorry if you're going skiing and you've never been skiing and now you're like terrified. My, one of my best friends, she snapped her femur in half skiing, Sam broke his wrist skiing before, like had some bad <laughs> memories of skiing, but we went again for the first time in like a few years, because obviously from COVID and then I just said, like my dad and my sister went and I just said I don't want to go because I was convinced again that I still hated skiing. Then I went this year, oh, I loved it. I was so good. Like I used to be like fine at skiing, like I could ski. This year I was so good, looked so good. So now I'm really excited to go again. Um, so I think that'll be my next holiday. And then I think I'm going to Greece next year in summer. My dad loves to book our family holidays early. So I think we're going to Greece, I believe. I think I've got that right. Another one is like any future goals that you can share. And in terms of like goals, I don't actually really like have any fixed things that I, apart from buying a house, like obviously I'd love to buy like my dream house. I'm really, really, sorry, I'm trying to find my like foundation thing that I do for my lips and I just can't find it anywhere. Okay, it was literally staring at me in the face, but I just love houses. I don't know if any of you know, I am doing an inverted commas because I've actually not done it in like a couple months, um, an interior design degree, um, which I hate, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I love interior design. I love houses, basically. I just love that kind of thing. So I can't wait to have my own house and decorate it all. And I'd love to do that. So I'd say that's probably my biggest goal for the next like foreseeable future obviously not for the next few years I'm not naive in thinking that I could buy a house anytime soon because they're extortionate at the minute but I'd say that is my biggest goal in life is just to have my house and like have a obviously like have a family have like children I just can't wait to have children um no I can wait that's the wrong phrase I don't want them yet but I'm really excited to have kids of my own Oh, I like this question. It's if you could live abroad, anywhere abroad, where would it be? And I would probably say Australia. I know it's actually the other side of the world, but I just love the vibes that it gives. I've never been, <laughs> but everything that I see about Australia is just really nice. I just, yeah, would love to go. The only thing that I had issues with, will have issues with if I did, would be the spiders. I am terrified of spiders, but I think kind of get over it snakes and not actually not too keen on either so maybe Australia isn't the best place for me to go but I always see people saying like you actually don't even see that many and I feel like you would then just get like kind of accustomed to it okay so that is my makeup routine done hope I answered like the questions hope that was interesting for you I didn't want to answer the same ones I always answer because I feel like for people who watch 
all my videos, it must be so boring watching these videos because you're like, yeah, Daisy, I know that you're 20. I know that you're from England. But yeah, I hope this was interesting for all you new people who follow me. I'm so, so grateful. I've, again, for like every video, I've just said how grateful I am for everyone who subscribes to me. But again, literally so grateful. Just hit 90,000 subscribers. I cannot wait. For the day that I hit 100,000 subscribers, I think I might wipe myself. You get that little cute plaque that is gonna get put up straight on my like dressing table, whatever. I just, I love you so much. Thank you so much for following me. And if you do wanna follow me on my Instagram or TikTok, I'll put them here. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Love you.